yesterday it seemed like your body and your game were coexisting pretty well. How'd they get along today? Long day. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, it was it was a good fight. Uh, we, we did really well out there, and uh, I'm still right there in the ball game uh, with a, a great chance going into the weekend. You said early in the week it's so hard trying to duplicate tournament conditions at home, whether it's the grass or the stance or what have you. What part of your game has been tested the most with the least amount of golf that you've played? Pretty much everything. Um, the, this golf course will expose any, any weakness you have. Um, the greens are <laughs> they're, they're, they're quick right now, and this wind is all over the place. Um, we have to play a lot of wind on putts, uh, chip shots. Um, anything that get basically gets in the air, um, it, it was, a, it was a, a great test. Through the years, Tiger, you've been a little coy when talking about your accomplishments in terms of the pride you may feel for doing that. I'm going to drop some numbers on you, okay? This is the 88th edition of this tournament. Only 40 players have ever played 25 or more tournaments. You're the only one that's ever made 24 consecutive cuts. What does that mean to you when you hear the perspective of those numbers, though? Well, I've been lucky enough to have been um, able to play this event for all these years. And, you know, I did miss a cut. I was an amateur. <laughs> but, yes. yes, I did. So, now, um, But as a pro, I've done well. And uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's just an amazing, an amazing aura that uh, Augusta National has. And I've been lucky enough to have been coming here since I was, what, 19 years old. I don't think luck had so much to do with you coming here, but I understand what you're saying. Uh, again, a nice round today, and we'll see you on the weekend for the 24th consecutive time. Thanks, Tiger. Appreciate it.